be having a look through the Jabra desktop application, which hopefully you've already watched the first video about the Jabra Evolve 275, which is the new headset that we're issuing at the moment. Um, if you haven't seen that first video, then I'd recommend you go and check that out because it talks you through all the features of the headset, like the pop-out mic on the side, uh, we've got volume buttons, Teams buttons, power buttons, all that kind of thing. So if you've watched that, great. If you haven't, go and check it out and then come back and we'll talk you through how you can modify some of the settings of the headset with the desktop application. Search for Jabra and open up the, the new app now that it's downloaded. All right, so before we go any further with this, there's one thing that is quite important to mention, and that's to make sure that you've got the headset connected with the USB-C connector. Now, again, if you've watched the main video, you should already know this, but while the headset does have Bluetooth built into it, so you can connect the headset just with regular Bluetooth, um, you won't be able to use all the features if you do it that way. So you're better off connecting using the dongle. Um, it'll give you more stable connection and you'll be able to use all of these features inside Jabra Direct. So a little disclaimer there, make sure you've got your dongle plugged in. Um, let's do that and then we'll jump back into this. If this is the first time you've connected the dongle, you should see a little pop-up in the bottom corner. Windows is setting up the drivers um, and then it should show up as being an available device inside the Jabra Direct software. So if I go ahead and switch on my headset now, that should pair up with the dongle that's plugged into the laptop. And there we go. It's automatically paired with the dongle that came in the box um, and both devices are now showing up inside the Jabra Direct software. Before we even look at anything else, the most important thing about this whole video is setting your default soft phone solution. So if you come into settings here, where we've got soft phone integration, this one's actually set to Microsoft Skype at the moment. We don't use Skype, we use Teams. So I'm gonna switch over to Teams. Uh, there isn't any save button in here, so that should apply um, straight away. And let's go in here. If I now open up Teams, it should say that this is ready. So we can see that Jabra has picked up the fact that Teams is running, it's showing that the soft phone integration with Teams is now ready. And this means the headset's now connected up with Teams correctly so that all the features we're about to have a look at should work as expected. If you're trying to do all the things that I'm showing you in this video, but they're not working, it's probably because you've skipped this step and your headset isn't actually configured to interact correctly with Microsoft Teams. So make sure you've done this, make sure you can see the word ready showing up on this screen and then proceed with the rest of this video. We've got some updates pending, so we can do those at some point, um, but that's not a major deal right now. Let's just take a look at the headset first. So there are two things you can use this software for. You can adjust the way the audio sounds. Uh, if you wanna increase the bass or decrease the bass or the treble or whatever, you can do that by clicking on audio here. And this thing gives you a pop-up where you can adjust the, um, the kind of equalizer for the headset if you, if you don't like the way it sounds. So feel free to have a play around with that, get it how you like it. That might apply more for music as well. If you listen to music while you're working, um, you can adjust the, the levels of the EQ for the music that you're listening to there as well. If we come into settings, this is what we really wanna have a look at here. So there's a whole bunch of features in here, such as answering the call or answering a call by rotating the boom arm. So that's referring to the mic arm here. So what this means is by popping this down, it'll automatically answer an incoming call, which is quite nice. The next thing on here is the boom arm mute. So while you're in a Teams call, just by moving the mic arm up and down, will uh, mute or unmute yourself in the call. Boom arm guidance, when you answer the call by popping the thing down, do you want it to tell you that it's answered a call? Do you just want to hear a sound or do you not want any kind of notice? Um, I would leave this on voice guidance personally so that it gives you some kind of voice alert when you, when you answer a call. Audio guidance here again is, I don't think this really applies. Uh, it's, it's to do with changing from soft phone, something else. I wouldn't worry too much about this, just leave that on voice. Audio protection here will, over time, throughout the day, will limit the volume of the headset in an attempt to try and protect your hearing. So again, I just leave this on basic peak stop. There are a bunch of different options, but the first one is perfectly fine for that. There's a button here that lets you uh, automatically reject calls if you're already on another call. I've got that switched off because sometimes I can be in a call and someone will ring me and it's more important that I answer that incoming call. 
So I've left that one switched off. Auto sleep will turn off your headset after a set period of time. By default, it's on eight hours, but I'm actually gonna change that to 15 minutes so that if I'm not using the headset, um, it's just around my neck or it's on the table and I've forgotten to switch it off, that will power it off after 15 minutes and save battery. Okay, the headset busy light. This is a really nice feature. What this does here is when you're on a call and you've got your, your headset on, there's a little light on the side that lights up red and that shows anybody who's maybe coming up to, to try and chat to you that you're on a call and you're, you're not just listening to music or you've not just got your headset on to block out sounds. You're actually on a call, red light comes on. In theory, you'll have less disturbances. Really nice feature. Sound mode here switches between active noise cancelling, hear through and just off. So as I mentioned earlier, this headset does actually have active noise cancelling, which is where the microphones listen to your background noise and then they send sound waves into your ear that cancel out the background noise, something like that anyway. I'm not a scientist, so I don't fully understand it, um, but effectively it blocks out the sound, reduces the background noise, helps you to focus better. There's a button on the side that lets you toggle between active noise cancelling and hear through, which is where you can hear the sound coming in from the background. Um, and again, when you toggle that, you'll hear ANC hear through, uh, just to let you know that you've changed that feature. Mute reminder tone will give you a reminder every now and then to let you know that you're muted, just in case you've accidentally muted yourself and you're trying to talk, and that can always be a bit awkward. I don't like that personally, so I've left it switched off, but feel free to turn that on if that's something that you like. On head detection here, what this does is when you take the headset off and you put it around your neck, it'll pause anything that's playing. So if you've got a video playing on YouTube or you've got music playing in Spotify, that kind of thing, it'll automatically pause that music and will then resume playing when you put them back on. So that's a really nice feature. I'm gonna leave that one turned on. Jump the gun a bit there. Here's that auto resume audio by motion detection. So that's where when you put the headset back on, it'll resume playing your whatever you were watching or listening to. Mute call by on-ear detection. This lets you mute or unmute yourself by putting the headset on or off. I personally don't use that because sometimes I switch my output device from the headset to the laptop speakers. So then if I took these off, it would automatically mute the headset. I don't want that, so I'm gonna leave that turned off. Ear cup microphones. Again, don't worry too much about that. What that means is there are other mics inside the headset, aside from what they call the boom mic. This one's gonna give you the best sounding quality on a call. This ear cut mic option here lets you put the boom mic up and then use the other mics within the headset, but it doesn't sound as good. So I'm gonna leave that switched off and it's pretty easy to just pop this down whenever I need the mic. All right, next up, we've got this feature here called side tone. So this is, this is pretty cool. What this does is when you're speaking, you're on a call and you're speaking and the mic is picking up your voice, it will actually feed back into your ears, your own voice. So basically it helps you hear yourself speaking, which in theory will then make you speak more quietly, which means if you're in an office environment and everybody's then speaking more quietly, it means you'll have a slightly quieter office environment in theory. Um, so I leave this switched on because I actually quite like being able to hear myself while I'm talking. I am working from home at the moment, but so is my girlfriend next door. She doesn't really wanna hear everything I'm saying on my calls, and I don't really wanna hear everything that she's saying on hers. Likewise, if you're in the office, you don't wanna be you don't want to be shouting, which can sometimes be the case with noise cancelling headphones because you can't actually hear yourself. So yeah, side tone lets you hear yourself while you're speaking, feeds your voice back through the uh, ear cups. The next option here is side tone level. This lets you increase or decrease how loudly you can hear yourself speaking back through the headset. Um, so I've kept this on normal myself, but you can have a play around with it, increase it or decrease it. Uh, I guess if you put it on six decibels, it would sound really loud. So it would help you to speak even more quietly. Again, if you turn it down, it would be a lot more subtle. I'm just gonna leave that on normal in the middle. And then tone setting here lets you adjust uh, various stuff again on the headset. So you can make it more bassy or more trebly. I'm just leaving that on normal. If you've made any changes, make sure you click save up here. Otherwise, it won't apply any of the changes that you've made. And then we've got a soft phone tab here. Just leave this one switched on and you can get some product information such as the version of your headset if you're having any problems with it. Now, if we come back, you, you also get some settings with the 
the Jabra Link 380, which is the USB-C dongle we were talking about earlier. And in there, you can adjust some settings such as the wireless range. For example, if you've got a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard um, and anything else that's Bluetooth, you might experience interference where the mouse lags a bit or the headset kind of makes a crackly sound. That could be because of Bluetooth interference. And so you can come into this setting and you can adjust uh, the strength of the Bluetooth range. I'm just going to demonstrate how the busy light works on this since we had a look at those settings in the Jabra Direct um, app. So if I come in and set up or just start a meeting, and you want to make sure you're using the Jabra Link 380 for both the speaker and the microphone. So we should actually now see the light on the headset should turn from purple to red. If I pop that on my head, there you go. Once the headset is on, the red lights will come on here to indicate that you're on a call. Now, if you take this off, they'll go back to purple again. What that indicates is that your headset is connected up to Teams. But again, you pop it back on and you'll get that red light, which shows to people that you're on a call. Please don't disturb me, essentially. And actually, we can test now the verbal response for the mute or unmute within the headset. So if I push this up to mute the headset, muted. it says muted. And we can see here that the actual mute icon in Teams changes as well. And then when I unmute myself, unmuted. the icon in Teams changes back. I can now speak because the headset has told me I'm unmuted. One other nice feature about this as well is that you can just leave a call, end a call, or actually answer an incoming call just by pressing this button on the side of the headset here. There we go. And the menu that we looked at earlier with the ANC, the hear through, that's this button on the other side here. ANC is now switched on. I can no longer hear the rocket ship fans in this laptop. And now it's on hear through. I can hear the fan noise again. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. So uh, we're going to end it right there.